Hi everyone, Simon here from Higher Plane Games with a review of Kukiyomi Considerate. Kukiyomi Considerate is a personality test and social etiquette kind of evaluation, I guess, that's available for PS4, as you see on your screens, but also Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and mobile. The mobile version is free, but contains ads. Kukiyomi has a really unique and interesting concept, as it puts you in a hundred different problems for you to be evaluated on how considerate you are. So it could be that um, you're a kaiju and you're going to attack a planet and you're not sure whether you should go for the one where the hero's out on holiday or the one where the hero's in so you can have a good battle. Other ones are things like um, Santa's come to deliver presents. Are you going to sit there awake and make him wait? Or are you going to pretend you're asleep so that you can deliver the presents? Uh, there's also ones where you and your um, girlfriend are like having an not an argument but she's asking you to do something do you do it or do you ignore her you play it how you want and it will evaluate you over those 100 problems and give you kind of like a social etiquette evaluation if you're considerate if you're empathetic um that kind of thing there is a heavy japanese culture slant to the whole thing which is pretty much why I was really interested to begin with. But some of the cultural etiquette and nuance is kind of lost on a Western audience. There's some uh, scenarios where uh, you're in a train and you get to decide whether or not you'd like to turn your music up and down or move left and right. And there's one apparently where you have a couple that come to sit and it's like the very first problem. And you decide whether you want to stay in the middle of them or move to the left or right to kind of let them sit down. Now, apparently in Japanese culture, Moving to the left is more considerate than moving to the right. Who knew? And it's that kind of nuance that changes your points focus slightly, uh, depending on how you play the game. A lot of the um, choices are quite binary, though. So it'll either be an and or type scenario. So it's not going to kind of veer you off too much. And part of the fun is through the unique design and the challenges that kind of come at you thick and fast, because they're all kind of like 10 seconds max. Aside from the single player mode, there is also the consider it together mode, which I will absolutely be dragging my other half onto doing at some point. And the idea of this is that you play the same hundred stuff again, but you need to kind of decide together what you're going to do, or you can kind of veer off and do your own thing. And the idea is that it also not only evaluates you on how considerate you are, but actually how harmonious are your decisions together. Me and my other half are um, socially politely awkward English people <laughs> so it will be like after you no after you no, after you oh what do you think what do you think oh I'll do what you do and it kind of we end up like wilting into stupidity and awkwardness and causing more problems for ourselves than we're worth so I can't wait to play this mode to watch us basically over consider ourselves into failure <laughs> But yeah, I just found this such an interesting, fresh concept, a really unique spin on personality tests um, and quick fire and fun to play. It doesn't outstay its welcome. It's price pointed really well. Um, yeah, thumbs up from me. A written review will be over on highplanegames.com shortly. And uh, until then, consider yourself, hopefully, to subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.